my name is Niki Gabrielle. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I pack and what is in my carry-on. This video is actually part three to my travel series, so if you haven't seen the other videos, I'm gonna have those linked down below in the description box. Now, to get started, I wanted to share the details of my carry-on. The luggage that I have here is the Calpac Amber Luggage in black. It's just your standard carry-on size and I opted for the black color because I find that it's just kind of timeless and looks really sleek. Now moving on to my process of packing, step one is to check the weather of my destination. I'm actually headed off to Kona which is in Kailua, Hawaii, the big island. I'm going to be there for six days with my family. Taking out the last two days, that gives me four full days in Hawaii, so a carry-on is a perfect size for this trip. According to the weather, it's going to be raining a little bit on and off, but honestly, Hawaii's weather is very unpredictable, and I'm just expecting it to be just like very hot and humid. Honestly, even when it's raining in Hawaii, you can survive in like t-shirt and shorts, so I'm not too worried. <laughs> Step two is to plan my outfits. After checking the weather, I'm going to head over to my closet and kind of just pick out any pieces that look attractive to me for this trip. So maybe I have like a nice off the shoulder top that I've been saving to wear at the beach or maybe there's like a dress that I specifically bought for this trip. I'm finally gonna pull that out of my closet and set it aside. Now that I've chosen a few options on what I want to bring, step three is to actually lay out each outfit and take a picture of it. I know this seems a little bit extra. Most people would kind of just pick a couple pieces and throw it into their suitcase. But for me, I found in the past that when I do that, I just really, really overpack. Laying out each outfit, choosing which outfit is appropriate for each day kind of just helps me know exactly what I need and honestly by the time I get to my destination it just makes getting ready a whole lot easier and I'm not having to like second guess like is this cute or is this cuter now in terms of the taking photos part of the step you don't have to do this if you don't want to but I will literally lay out my blanket that I use for flat lays and organize the outfit so like top bottom cover up hat shoes bag like I plan it to the T. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, I usually just take it on my phone and then I'll save it to a notes page where I'll literally write like Hawaii outfits and then list all the outfits per day. So like Monday I'm gonna wear shorts, Tuesday I'm gonna have the dress, Wednesday we're going on a hike. I'm telling you, I, I gotta have everything planned out. <laughs> I started to do this last year on a few of my trips. I don't know, I just found it easier because I would just spend more time before my trip planning everything out instead of during my trip and then having to just like feel like, oh my god, well, I probably don't have enough clothes so I'm gonna pack like 10 extra shirts because I was, I was literally that person. Nowadays, I'll plan to bring like maybe an extra top or if I'm not even planning to bring that, I'll just I'll literally use that workout shirt that I packed and I'm not even going to use, so. Okay, so now we have all of our outfits picked out. We know exactly what we're going to bring. So step four is to organize everything into our packing cubes. Now for this trip specifically, I actually was able to fit all of my stuff into one packing cube. Again, I'm only there for like four full days, so four outfits and then my first and last day outfits were like pretty much the same thing because they're what I'm going to wear on the airplane. But typically if my trip were any longer, I would bring two packing cubes, even if it wasn't like stuffed. Now the reason being is because again, if it was any longer, I might pack an extra shirt or two and let's say I don't use it, I don't want to have to mix my dirty and my clean clothes. I want to keep those separate in two different packing cubes. Now for this trip, I didn't have to pack a second packing cube. I ended up just sticking to my packing cube and my vacuum sealed bag so that I can compress all my dirty clothes and then any of my extra clean clothes. Coming home, I kind of just stuffed anywhere in my suitcase. Now my biggest tip for packing clothes in your packing cube is to roll your clothes. I used to be one of those people that folded their clothes and at least for travel, I just don't find that it's that helpful. Everything just gets smushed and gets wrinkled 
I find that when you roll your clothes, one, it creates like a thicker layer so that it doesn't get squished and wrinkled when it's in your suitcase. That's just how I pack my clothes and I've also found that it saves a little bit more space. I don't know how like the science behind that works, but it just, it just works. <laughs> Step number five is to pack, pack, pack. This part is basically playing Tetris with your suitcase. You're just gonna try to fit everything that you wanna bring somehow, someway. <laughs> I like to start packing on the right side of my suitcase. If you look at the right side to most carry-ons, it's usually not a flat surface because the handlebars of the handle are kind of packed into that side of the suitcase. Most people would just like put anything on top and that little crevice of space is kind of wasted, but not with me. Now to fill in those gaps, I'm going to pack my towels. I always pretty much bring an extra like bathing slash beach towel and an extra face towel. So I'll kind of just fold it so that it fits in those gaps and at least that's not wasted space. Any other gaps that I have, I'll just take any extra clothes that I don't mind getting too wrinkled. So in this case, I put my cover-ups on the side. Now that we've flattened the right side, I can finally place my packing cube. It fits perfectly and there's no wasted space underneath. We're gonna take a break from the right side and move on to the left side. The first thing I like to pack on the left side is my toiletries bag. I like to keep this on the bottom of my bag because I've already made sure that anything that's in that bag is pretty much foolproof and I'd rather have more important non-breakable things on the very top as I'm kind of like rolling my suitcase along. For this trip, I'm actually bringing a sun hat, but again, where the head part goes, it might get kind of compressed and damaged during the flight. So I like to stuff whatever I can into this hat. In this case, I stuffed my swimsuits. I kind of just like rolled and balled them up and then stuffed those into the hat. When putting it into the suitcase, I'm going to pack it brim face down so that I can still pack around the hat. Next up, I have my makeup bag. Honestly, this changes depending on what else I need to pack, but my rule of thumb is I always aim to keep this bag at the top of my suitcase because it does contain the most fragile things and it's easily breakable. Next, I have my curling iron, and as you can see, there's a little space surrounding the hat, so I'm just gonna slip it right into there. Here, I actually forgot my face towel, and I'm just putting that on the right side of my suitcase. The other two towels that you see here, the right side is actually my beach towel, and the middle one is an extra like hair towel that I like to use if there's not enough towels like in the Airbnb or hotel room. My family is planning to watch, I believe the sunrise or the sunset, something at like the very top of a mountain. So here I'm actually packing a down vest that I can layer on top of any clothes that I have and I'm just squeezing that into the left corner. Next, I'm also packing a small backpack. This is a nylon backpack by Tommy Hilfiger. Of course, I can't forget my water bottle, so I'm just kind of trying to figure out where I can put this, honestly. If I know I might not have time to fill my water bottle at the airport, I'll put it directly into my suitcase like so. Now, lastly, in terms of clothing items, a few things that I don't pack into my packing cubes are, again, bathing suits. If I have a hat, I'll just kind of fit it into the head part. And two are any like thicker material items like denim or like jackets. So as you see here, I folded my denim in half and then I have just stacked them and then laid them on top of my towel pile on the right side. If you can kind of see the overview here, I've kept all the clothing items or cloth items on the right side and any miscellaneous things on the left side. This just helps me, one, organize everything, and two, the left side contains things that can easily be shifted. So with the zipper covering it, I just feel a lot safer with everything there. Other things that I like to pack are some toilet wipes. Guys, if you guys don't, know about flushable toilet wipes yet seriously get yourself some from target or amazon these things are a lifesaver i'm not gonna go too much into it but i always need these while i'm traveling because i just like to be extra extra clean the end that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> In my Calpac luggage, it also has a small space for shoes. So here I like to keep 
sandals because it's just a lot flatter and I am going to bring sneakers on this trip but I'm just gonna like wear it on the airplane because it's like a heavier item and I always wear socks to the airport because who likes to go through TSA barefoot? As I've mentioned, another thing that I always like to have with me while I'm traveling is a small umbrella. It just helps keep out the sun and of course the rain. I forgot to actually pack my electronics bag. I tried to fit it right next to my toilet wipes but it didn't fit. So I'm just kind of fitting it on the right side next to my clothes. And that is it to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching how I pack my suitcase. But before you leave this video, I actually have a small little bonus for you guys. I've created a PDF packing list just to help you guys figure out the essentials that you need. The packing list PDF will actually be listed on my blog. I'll leave that linked down below in the description box. I hope this helps you guys out. Please don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for the rest of my travel series. And as always, thank you guys so much for all your support. It means the absolute world to me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!